Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm talking to you all about the bungee cords and why I'm not a fan. This week is all about the bungee cord. Uh, these are being used loads at the moment on Instagram and you can get them where you're just doing your own little DIY, putting a pin in either end or you can get them with just an elastic and they have like a hook on the end and they are there to stop you moving your hair around when you're trying to keep the tension and keep something very snatched and together. These type of fixings are traditionally used in fashion or catwalk, things where the hairstyle is gonna be done really, really fast and it's not gonna be kept in for very long. But these are being used a lot at the moment underneath updos for when people are creating something that in theory, a bride is gonna be wearing for the next 10 hours or one of your clients is gonna be wearing for a while. So when these are put in, you'll create your anchor if we were doing a hair up. You would hold this in one side and push your hair grip in, take that around, and then you'd push your other one in the other side. Now, what comes with this is, when these pins go in and they have elastic attached to the ends of them, it makes them want to pull. So if this is inside a head, whether they be flat, so whether you're going for more of a hat pin or whether you're going for a Kirby, these are still gonna have tension on them. And when that's against the head, it will push. What we'll end up with is someone that's got hairpins pushing onto the head. These things aren't practical when it comes to doing a lasting updo because they're gonna push against the scalp and you're gonna end up with a really nasty, nasty, nasty imprint in your head and it hurts. When I teach to my students, I'm always teaching them about making sure that something has longevity and it's comfortable and you're not going to get one without the other because if it's not comfortable you're not going to get the longevity because somebody won't want to keep that hairstyle in they're going to be pulling it out the hair grits are going to be annoying them let me know in the comments if you agree that with all these hairpins you've got to be really really careful how many you're putting in how many you're layering up and how much tension you're putting on the hair to make a bridal hairstyle comfortable. They're ready to drag that hair out. It is not gonna get you reviews and it's not gonna get you a repeat client. It's gonna drive them absolutely bonsai. Uh, so an alternative is this from Style Pro and this is a tape um, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. On for the clear and it's just a piece like this and you peel off, pinch on, take this around holding it with your finger underneath and then when you when it connects with itself on the opposite side it sticks it is a great technique but I'm also one for reusable products and things that are good for the environment and this isn't reusable however it is a great product and the idea is great and it also keeps some volume away from the head so if you wanted to create volume you'll get this, which is great if you're creating the ponytail look and you want something that looks fuller and it's standing away from the head, you'll get that depth with this as well. It comes in clear and it comes in black. Um, I've included a link below so you can go and grab some of your own if you want to test it out. Dead of when all else fails, just a simple, old, plain, reusable elastic. And I got like, what, 20, 30 of these for um, so as long as you go for a skinny one rather than a bulky one, it won't create too much bulk near the head. You're not going to disrupt the hair too much by using just a simple bobble. Usually if you're creating an anchor for an updo, it's underneath and you'll have this going over the top anyway. So even if you did mess up, it wouldn't matter. But that's my advice. So that is my reasons for not being a fan of the bungee. What do you think? What is your favourite products? Yes, if you're going to be doing something fast and you're going to be doing something for catwalk or for fashion. But when it comes to bridal and event hair, no, no, no. It's uncomfortable, it's horrendous for your client. And if you've never had a hair up and worn a bungee cord into your hair, please go and try it out, leave it in for 10 hours, and then see how your hair feels. Because whenever you're doing something, if you go off and you experience it like your client is, you will know exactly how she feels. It will make your work better from experiencing it. Um, if you have a different tool that you prefer to use in hair, then let me know in the comments and share with us what you prefer to use. Thanks for watching this video. If you wanna go and try out the wrap from Style Pro, I've included a link down below. If you're interested in training with me for hair up online, you can do it anywhere in the world. And we are teaching you one simple, skillful stylist strategy that you can learn at home that will transform any hair type even fine. So please come and join me for the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this a thumbs up and share with anybody that you think might find it useful. 
I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If like me you are obsessed with long lasting updos and client comfort then check out these two videos. One is for getting a strong curl and extreme grit through the hair so your style will last longer and the other one is a whole step by step romantic hairdo which is perfect for weddings. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the next ones. I will see you next time.